Creality has finally taken care of the problem. In my last video, I mentioned I couldn't utilize the full capabilities of the Nebula Pad on my Endo 3 Pro, until on February 26, I saw a firmware update available on Creality's website. I wasn't sure what to make of it at first, but I proceeded anyway with updating it. And I'm glad I did, because once I checked the settings page, I noticed that there was a new extruder configuration. And at last, I could set the temperature limit on my Spider Hotend and the E-Steps for the Sprite Extruder. Once I did that, according to the manufacturer's spec, I loaded a chep cube, set it off to the races, and that didn't work. So I reverted back to a rough default number that was set on the E-Steps. And while the print was still under extruding, I was getting close to results. And after some trial and error using this basic formula, I got my calibrated filament close to spec, tried one more time, and I was having successful results. When the print was done about 15 minutes later, it turned out pretty good. I'll have to fine tune my profiles on Creality Print, but this is rather promising. Here's what I found that worked best for my E-Step value. But that is important right now because 